Stop, go, stop, go. When we're behind the wheel, we do it without thinking, except when we don't. That's where these come in. Cameras that snap pictures of red light scoff laws. Although some think they're an annoyance, even an invasion of privacy, it turns out they work at least according to IIHS, the Insurance Institute for Highway Safety. We're seeing many fewer deaths as a result of red light camera enforcement. In a study released Tuesday, billed as the first ever to look at fatal crashes caused by red light running, the group found that in the biggest cities where cameras are used, deaths caused by red light running declined 25% over four years. Had cameras been in use in all 99 of the country's cities with populations over 200,000, 815 deaths would have been prevented, the group says. You're more vigilant for that. So you see the intersection sooner, you react to, oh, is there a traffic light? And, and so you slow down and and you stop. But is that really what happens? We took to the street in Atlanta, which has plenty of both red light cameras and red light runners. Like, I can't tell the difference if it has a camera or not, so I'll just be careful of everyone. Sometimes they clog the, clog the traffic um, because people are trying to rush. Some drivers say abrupt movement at stoplights by those trying to avoid the camera's eyes can cause a dangerous situation. But the study authors insist even that, statistically speaking, is a positive. If they are doing that, the net effect is still a safety benefit. The cameras have been a source of controversy in some cities where drivers cite concerns of government's role as Big Brother and accuse cities of using the cameras to generate excess revenue. The critics haven't stopped the cameras, though. The Institute reports the use of them has soared from just 25 cities in 2000 to some 500 today. Jason Bronis, The Associated Press, Atlanta.